Hello friends. Happy Thursday. Wednesday just got away from me, so I'll make a Thursday ramble video. Hope you don't mind. And I decided it's been a while since I've had a cigar, so I'm going to go with this. This is actually a Rocky Patel second. It's from the uh, the Edge Maduro line, I believe. They're not great. They're um, a lot of short filler. You get a lot of stuff in your mouth as you're smoking them, but they taste okay. So it's burning uneven. You'll probably be noticing a humming sound. Um, it's because I'm so the wall over here is um, the wall that the air conditioner compressor is on outside. And because I'm smoking a cigar, I've opened the window. So I apologize for that. I'll try to filter it out when I edit the video. So it's kind of an experiment. We'll see how it goes. I hope your week's been good. I mentioned on Sunday, I believe, that I was doing some uh, work on my wife's laptop. And that's been fun. Uh, interesting so I, I was able to so here, here's the problem i brought some pieces over to show you this because i thought it was pretty interesting this is the hinge that um, is inside the laptop so this part here is connected to the base this is connected to the top, the part that lifts up when you open it. And this is what frames the screen, the LCD panel. Well, this is a really thin piece of aluminum and uh, you'll probably not be able to see this, but this one is ready to break. The other side completely broke uh, right at this, this bend here. The problem was, That where this thing screws into the, in particular, the top uh, case, there's very little plastic or anything that the screw is going into. And to give you an idea, again, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I, I found it really interesting. So this little piece here, that. That is a screw, a metal insert that the screw goes into, and all of the plastic that's holding the metal insert to the inside of the, uh, the, the case. That's it. That's the entire thickness of the screw that's holding this thing together. So at some point, um, these things started to break. Uh, my wife said that she remembered finding a couple of small screws in the area where she uses the laptop. Eventually, the, the hinge came loose, the aluminum, uh, this thing broke, and all hell broke loose. So, I had to get a whole new lid, you know, the, the, the case, the, the, the LCD panel's fine, but I had to get the, a new top for the computer, and I had to get a new set of hinges because they were broken. And I spent uh, quite a bit of time disassembling it, you know, you can... Th these things are not hard. If, if you're if you're careful and patient, you can get the uh, technical manuals for just about any laptop, and you can take them apart, and you can you can swap things out. You know, a lot of people think that laptops are not uh, in any way uh, modifiable, like you can't put a new hard drive in them or something. You can, and and it's not that hard. 
but you have to be patient and you have to be organized because there's all these tiny little screws and everything. So I got the thing apart and I got the new parts in, but then it turned out that I was missing a lot of screws because like I said, she was finding these tiny screws and throwing them away because that's what wives do when they find tiny screws. Whereas we have a jar that we put them in, right? So I had to order a set of screws and that took a couple days to get here and I put it all back together and I was really happy. Everything went together well and I turned it on and blank monitor, nothing. And what I think I've done is I think in the process of rerouting the cables for the display, I actually wound up mashing the display cable and breaking it. So now I had to order a new display cable and I got to wait a couple days for that to show up and we'll put that in. And if that doesn't work, we're going to take it to Best Buy and say, hey, fix this. <laughs> but it was, it was worth a try and it was, you know, something different to do. We had some really violent storms here yesterday, um, which is one of the reasons I never got around to making a video. Uh, I was I was down here, so I'm, I'm working in the basement during the day um, for my, my real job. And it was like, I don't know, maybe quarter to 12 or something. And I thought, I'm gonna have lunch. And then I've got a meeting at one o'clock and the rest of the afternoon, I just have these meetings where I really just have to be listening. And I said, boy, it's a nice day. I'm just gonna take my computer upstairs. I'll sit out back on the patio under the umbrella and uh, enjoy the, the, the weather. Which was all based on what I saw at, you know, 8.30 in the morning. Got up to the steps, got, up, got upstairs. And from the time it took me, you know, I've got windows here so I can see the sun's out and everything. By the time I got up to the top of the steps, it looked like it was 10 o'clock at night. Just the sun had been completely obliterated and it was pouring rain. I mean, really a hard rain. I opened up the back door and things were flying. Uh, and it was, it was scary. I mean, it was almost like uh, a, a tornado or something. It wasn't a tornado, but it, you know. Um, we lost a big tree limb in the front of the house and I, I took some pictures of that. I'll try to put them in here and show you what that looks like. Our umbrella, which we just bought uh, like a week and a half ago, wound up uh, in somebody's yard two blocks away from us, completely ruined, but fortunately hadn't caused any damage to anything or hurt anyone. Um, plant, potted plants were thrown all over. My favorite was there, there was a uh, branch that had come off of a tree it was actually stuck in the ground and sticking straight up so it hit with enough force that it drove into the into the soil uh, just absolutely crazy it lasted about 10 minutes and then the Sun was out needless to say I did not get to sit on the patio and casually listen to my meetings So now I got that tree limb to deal with. I was just gonna cut it up with a chainsaw this morning, but my neighbor has a relative that does tree work and he came over and he said he would take care of it for me. And uh, so now I gotta wait for him to show up. And <laughs> I mean, it was nice of him to do, but you know, he was gonna do it this morning and he never showed up. And now I'm thinking, gee, I just wish I said, no thanks, I'll take care of it. Cause it would have taken me all of an hour to cut this thing up and put it out in the street for the the borough to come and pick it up. Interesting. Interesting times. Strange weather. Strange happenings. Strange viruses. I'm telling you if, you, if you think too much about it, you start to... Uh, start to go off the rails a bit. So don't go off the rails. Try to keep sane, you know, try to try to find things to do that occupy your hands and your mind. 
like fixing laptops or, or cleaning pipes or whatever it might be because uh, we, we need that kind of stuff guys we, we need to we need to be productive and we need to feel that we're in control mm -hmm. and sometimes we can only be in control of cleaning a pipe and that's okay These are good. I mean, the flavor profile is very similar to the, the Edge Maduro. They're just not as, um, they don't smoke as well. And I have honestly gotten a bit disillusioned with Rocky Patel over the years. I, I mean, I used to like a lot of his stuff and I'm not a big Maduro guy, so I never got into those much, but this was a real bargain. I actually bought this, um, I went with my friend Ali, uh, the great American Doc Piper, who we haven't seen in quite some time. We went up to uh, Cigar International in Hamburg, Pennsylvania, and uh, got together there and smoked some pipes and had a, had a great day. Um, and while we were there, I picked up this bundle of Rocky Patel seconds and uh, really enjoyed them. And I think this might be the last one. So Ali, if you're out there, we need to make another trip. Restrictions are lifting apparently tomorrow. We're going from red to yellow. I don't know exactly what that means. However, I did get an email that the local cigar shops are going to open, which is great, and I will go and support them. This is drug on long enough, guys. We we need to we need to move on. You know, I understand that we want to be safe, but there's a margin of safety that you can achieve, and at some point you have to decide whether or not it's worth it. Um, if you're a high-risk individual, if you're elderly, if you're, you know, yes, absolutely. But if you're, you know, relatively healthy and you want to be able to go out and have a beer and a hamburger. You should be able to do that. Tuesday were uh, primary elections here in Pennsylvania. All right. They conveniently moved the polling place to the school across the street from my house. So my wife and I walked over there Tuesday afternoon and voted. Um, It's important, you know. It's it's really really important. Uh, we've got. I'm I'm starting to feel like things could swing either way, and there are people that we just do not want to have in power right now. The people that want to police us, the people that want to tell us what's good for us, you know. You're not allowed to go to the grocery store because you're going to get sick. You're not allowed to smoke a cigar because you're going to get sick. You're not allowed to own a handgun because you're going to shoot somebody. Just leave me alone. Let me, let me make my own decisions. I've done okay for over 50 years. I don't think I need a uh, politician telling me at this stage of my life that I need to change it. And that is the most political you will ever hear me get. At least on here. <laughs> But I do think it's, and I've said this many times. You know, you you want to hear the other side. You want to, you want to understand them. You want to talk to people you disagree with, uh, and and sometimes you're going to wind up agreeing with them, and that's good. That's that's how we grow. So I'd, I'd never, 
never shut them out and never uh, try to shut them down. Well, I don't even know if you can hear me over this racket, so I'm not going to prolong this any longer. I'm going to prolong the cigar for as long as I can. And then I'll see if I can edit this video, filter out some of that noise, and uh, hopefully get it posted. Friday, um, tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern, it's going to be me solo. Uh, so please uh, stop by and uh, join the conversation because I don't know what to talk about if you guys aren't there. And uh, I'm much more entertaining when I've got uh, the support of a crowd. So please stop in. I think you'll, you'll enjoy it. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. So with that, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Have a great uh, Friday, and I'll see you Friday night. Take care, guys.